So listen, I know you've heard a lot of stories and a lot of really important information here, but I wanted just to get some final closing thoughts from our guests about what kind of conversations parents should have with our kids, how we connect, because this is really what this is about, making sure that they're in a a mindset of being safe before they even get out there, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Nicole, welcome back. I want to hear from you first, because I know you've had a chance to hear this conversation, too. I just want to tell parents, just talk to your kids. Ask questions. When you see things different or changing with your child, that's the time then to ask questions. No question is, like, hard to ask. Mm Mm-hmm. And if it's hard to ask, probably that's the one you need to that's ask That's the first, one you need right? to ask, yes. Yeah, Ivy. I think um, being able to be open, again, about real experiences with our kids um, and, and, and listening, but being open about your unique experience and being raw and less judgmental and giving enough space for it to feel safe mm-hmm. for our children is very important. Gary, when the uh, young man or young woman is stonewalling, right? Like they blah, 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 blah is all that they're hearing. How do you penetrate? How do you break through the brick wall sometimes that's there when the child is just not used to being heard or doesn't want to hear what you have to say? Well, the first thing you got to do as a parent is come out of denial. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand that our kids in this generation, they cry with no tears. Mm -hmm. And if you don't create that safe space, because, I mean, let's be real. They have way more friends than we have. Mm -hmm. And they're forever plotting and planning against what we don't know. Mm -hmm. So just come out of denial and don't be afraid to ask for help. Know the signs. Uh, Know what they're saying without saying it. And just reach out. Because when you no say one know the alone. signs, give me some examples. What do you mean? Well, I, I, because I work with young men, I think when young men start to look for that extra set of friends that don't really match mm-hmm. what you raised them with, you know, you may you may want to start asking those questions. Or, but there's a very unique way that you ask young men questions, and uh, they don't like to be questions. First of all, you like to pretty much tell them. What we'll you play. Give me know. an example. Uh, for example, uh, I noticed that you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Instead of just saying. Hey, who are these boys you run in the street with? And this ain't how I raised you. Say, so, hey, look, I notice these guys you're hanging with. You want to invite them over for a bite to eat? You think they'll go hang out with us for a night? So you can get to know them. And because if your child is hanging with someone mm-hmm. and you don't know the parents, it's a red flag. Right, right, Ivy. In an education, we call it I notice, I wonder. Mm-hmm. Like, these are the things I notice, but you leave the wondering as an open conversation. Like he said, invite them in. I notice. I wonder. Yeah. And I even yes. like the concept of inviting to dinner yes. because it's you're eliminating the judgment. Yes. Like, mom, you think my friends are blah, yes. blah, blah. It, that, that lack of judgment there. Yeah. And it's going to tell you something if they come or not. Yeah, right. You get to is, learn a lot. Yeah. The yeah. food is, a, you know, it's, a, it's a essential to the soul. I mean, yeah. everywhere Jesus when he had food. Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think when you're inviting them over mm-hmm. for a small hot dog and hamburger and just get them in the environment, if he's uncomfortable with hanging with your mom or dad, that ain't the dude you want to rock with. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Sebastian, I'm going to give you the last word, but Natasha, I want you to weigh in from the from the work as a pastor and as a mother and as a lawyer and yeah. all of these different st- yeah. stakeholding positions you hold. I love the wonder conversation mm-hmm. and what you are bringing up as well um, um, about how we meet them also where they are and at, invite them to meet us where we are. I love the importance of talking. Mm-hmm. So having, I'm a, I'm a person of ritual. I think rituals in our families, are we, yeah. it's a lost art. Mm-hmm. So there could be every Friday night is like a judgment free zone. And it's maybe it's not, let's sit down and talk. I feel like that's the worst thing you could ever say to right. your children. Mm-hmm. Come and let's talk. Let's walk. Mm-hmm. Let's get in the car and go somewhere. And while you're in motion, I noticed that's when my children open up. Yeah. Like when you right. least expect that. Moment. Yeah, that makes sense. Sebastian, for you, the closing thought for, for parents who are trying to connect and keep our sons and daughters, our sons like you safe. Um, I would say just like you're saying, pay attention. And um, I, I would say um, if you notice change, have mentors and stuff put into place because mm. sometimes they don't always want to open up to the people in the house. Quick question. Was there something that somebody could have said to you when you were shy and not wanting to talk about it that would have helped you open up? Maybe if, yeah, yeah. Maybe somebody like, like Mr. Davis, I didn't know him at first. Right. And it it, it made it, when I felt comfortable with him, it made it easier for me to open up. 
And that's then, the bottom line. Yeah. That's it. I just, I thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you so much. Um, this was powerful, and I hope that you were moved. And um, I'm just grateful because we've got to do what we cannot keep going into summer after summer watching this happen. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Hey there, Portia here. Listen, that was a good conversation, wasn't it? Want to see the rest of it? Just go to PortiaShow.com. Scroll down until you see that particular episode. But listen, before you scroll on out of here, I need you to do me a favor. Please like, comment, let us know what you thought of that episode, and subscribe. And if you already are a subscriber, we sure appreciate you. In the meantime, we'll be sure to see you on the next episode of Portia. And you can catch us weeknights on Fox Soul as well. Tell your friends. Tell them to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.